Well, Jane Ace learned it was Marge, whom Martha Lorenz, the movie director, wanted to play in his motion picture, not Jane. Brokenheartedly, Jane accused Marge, her best friend, of the well-known Double Cross. And so did Neil Williams, Marge's boyfriend, who learned that Marge had dined out with Mr. Lorenz. Neil wouldn't listen to Marge's explanation and walked out in a huff. This episode takes place a couple of nights later in the Ace's bungalow, where we find Jane with Mr. Race alone. Listen. Can't sit here like this night after night moping. This place is getting to be like a morgue. You and Marge not speaking. And all she says to me is good morning or good evening, and she doesn't come home to eat anymore. You're going to have to snap out of this. My best friend oh. just stabbed me in the back when I wasn't looking. That's the part I can't get over. Well, how long is it going to take you? I don't know. I'm just black and blue about the whole thing. Hmm. About Marge or about not getting the part in the picture? About Marge, mostly. I don't care about the picture. Much. Well, I don't. I know this sounds like sour cream, but I don't think that picture was going to be any good anyhow. Oh, you don't. Uh... It's so silly. The girl loves the boy, and the boy didn't love the girl. It's the same thing you see in all pictures. Anybody could make up a better movie than that. Well, why don't you get your mind off of moping around about Marge here and go into writing scenarios, anything to get you out of this frame of mind? I did. What? I thought up a movie last night when I couldn't fall asleep thinking about Mars. Oh, you thought up a plot? Right? Yes, about a very rich millionaire, about mm. 40 years old. He's got everything in the world, a beautiful home, car, servants, everything. And then there's this beautiful girl who's very poor. She hasn't anything. She's even got a hole in her shoe, much less a servant. Oh, yeah, yes, I know that plot. But the very rich man is unhappy in spite of all the riches, and the girl enjoys life to the fullest. Is that it? No, that's the way all the movies are, but it's wrong. The rich man is always happy. Why shouldn't he be? And the poor girl is unhappy. That's the way it really is. Oh, that's a new angle. So, uh, so what happens? When? In the story you wrote or thought up, what happened? Oh, well, that's as far as I got. I fell asleep. Oh, you fell asleep. You certainly must have been terribly worried about Marge, I noticed. She uh, slept like a top. Yes, didn't I? I kept turning round and round. Mm. My best friend, to think that she would stab me oh, in the back. Oh, stop it, Jane. It's behind me how she could do it to me after all these years. If she wanted the part so bad, why didn't she come to me and she could say, Jane, I want the part. And I'd say, you do? And she'd say, yes, I do. And I'd say, well, Marge, if you want it so bad... Uh, can I say something? Don't interrupt us, dear. Us, uh, um... And I'd say, well, Marge, if you want it so bad, I won't try out for the contest. And she'd say, well, thanks, Jane. You are a real friend. And I'd say, you're welcome, Marge. Uh, you two girls finished? But what did she do? She... Yeah, she stabbed you in the back when you weren't looking, I know. Yeah, that's the part I can't get over. To think we were brought up together. We went to school together. We were playthings together, and she All right, be... now, don't break yourself up again. It'll all be straightened out. Oh, no, we can't, dear. Well, what do you mean? You're not going to go on being mad at each other for the rest of your lives, are you? Well, you see how we are now. We don't talk. We just... Yes, it is strange to see you two passing each other in the house here like uh, ships in the night. Well, she's got a ship on her shoulder, too. I'm not oh, the only yes, one. Oh, yes, yes, you've both got ships on your shoulders. But what's the argument about, anyhow? The contest has hasn't been decided. How do you know you haven't got the part? How do you know Marge has? She hasn't even tried out for it, has she? I don't know if she has or not. You heard what Neil told us the other night. Mr. Lorenz wanted her... But she her... didn't care about going into the movies. That's what I gathered out of the whole mess. Yes, yeah, but why didn't she tell me that Mr. Lorenz wanted her for the part? And I don't blame Neil for being mad at her, going out with Mr. Lorenz. Well, she's not engaged to Neil or anything like that. Well, she's not engaged to me either, and look what she did to me. What? What? To stab me in the back when I was... Oh, yes, yes, that. I forgot. Forgot about it? Dear, there are certain things that I could never forget, and this is it. Not if I live to be as old as McCushla. To think my best friend would... All right, Jane, you can take your mind off of that by answering the phone. Well, I'll answer it, but I can't forget it, dear, never. Hello? Yes, who is this? Oh, hello, Neil. Oh, Neil. Just fine, how are you? That's good. What? Oh, nothing, just sitting here talking about things. Who? Oh, uh, just a minute, Neil. Dear, you talk to him. 
Does he want to talk to me? What about? No, he wants to talk to Marge. Oh, she's not here. Tell him she's not here. I can't. You know we're not speaking. But you're speaking to Neil. Yes, but it's about Marge, and I'm not going to talk Oh, to all right. Give it to me if you aren't. <clears throat> Hello, Neil. Oh, pretty good. What's new with you? Well, she's not here. Uh, but wait a minute. I thought uh, you and she were, uh, well, you you know. Oh, you realize what a chump. Uh, hmm. Well, she's not here. No, honestly, she's not. Yeah, she went to work today. Well, I can't understand that. Uh, what time did you call her there? Uh, maybe she was out to lunch or... Uh, oh, eight times. Well, I gather from that that she's the one that's sore now. I, I've kind of lost track of who's mad at who around here. I don't know how I get into these mix-ups. I've got my hands here, full here now at home. It, no, no, it's no bother. No, no, I didn't mean that. Hello? Hello? Now we're going to have to take up a new mad census. I think I'm on the list now, and I wasn't even playing. Well, what happened? I think Neil's mad at me now. Neil's mad at you and me and Mark. Oh, that's life, I guess. It's not usually my life. Well, dear, we still have each other, especially me. Especially you? Yes, I got you. Oh, thanks, gang. You're welcome, dear. Uh, did he want to make up with Marge? That's what I gathered. He says he realized he was a chump to say those things to Marge here the other night, and he, he tried to get hold of her at the office, and she was never in. I, I guess she won't answer the phone when it's Neil. From the way things look to me now, Marge is the one that's putting on the Righteous Indignation Act. Beg pardon? Maybe we were a little hasty in judging her. Suppose she did go out to dinner with Lorenz. What of it? She turned down his offer to put her in a movie. She didn't beat you out of the part. Or... I don't care about being in pictures, dear. That's not the part that hurts me. To think my best friend... Your best friend what? What did she do? What did she do? Yes, yeah, not not counting pulling a knife on you. She knew how much I wanted to get in the pictures. I thought you didn't. I don't now, but I did then. After all the trouble I went through, learning the part, and even thinking up a movie name for myself. I'll never be able to use that now. The name? Uh -huh. uh, you mean uh, Jane Jane? Yes, Jane Jane. That was cute, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. I'll never use it now. No, I guess not. Simone, Simone is safe now. And all the time I was learning my part and thinking up my name, she was going out to dinner with him. Simone, Simone? No, Marge, Marge. Marge, Marge? Oh, I mean Marge. Don't mix me up. Oh, I'm sorry, Jane. Why didn't she tell me she was going out to dinner with Mr. Lorenz? Oh, she didn't tell you she wasn't. Ignorance is no excuse. Whatever that means. Whatever that means. You know what it means, and she does, too. I wouldn't be surprised if she was having dinner with him right now. Oh, no, I doubt that. Well, I don't. I guess that's all you have to do is to go out and have dinner with Mr. L Mrs. Lorenz and you get into pictures. Well, if some girls want to have dinner with Mr. Lorenz, it's all right with me. Oh, uh, maybe this is Marge now. Well, I won't let her in. You go, dear. I'll go, but she doesn't seem to be any too anxious to talk to me either. I'm getting a little fed up with all this mad business. Oh, uh, Mr. Lorenz. Well, I'm sorry if I intrude, <clears throat> Mr. Ace. Not at all. Come in. Thank you. Uh, You're sure I don't intrude? Sure, sure. We're not doing anything. Just sitting around here talking, Mrs. Ace and myself. Oh, good evening, Mrs. Ace. Good evening. I just dropped in uh, to... Sit down. Make yourself comfortable. Oh, thank you. I only dropped in for a few minutes. I had just finished my dinner. Oh, did you have dinner alone? Yes, quite alone. Well, that's certainly unusual. Uh, kind of late for dinner, isn't it, Mr. Lorenz? Uh, yes, I have been working late these past two nights, trying to make something of those camera tests we took. Oh, you're still trying to pick the winner, huh? Yes, but I'm afraid it's all quite hopeless. Hopeless? You mean to say there's not a movie star in our entire town? I'm afraid not, Mr. Ace. Oh, uh, no disrespect meant to you, madame. Why? I say I have seen your test, too, and while it is quite all right... Still, it is not for this picture. Uh, how does she look? Quite well, quite well. Well, Jane, he says you look all right in those tests that they took of you the other I do? Then you mean I'm There not... is only one girl who can play the part. Well, Mr. Lorenz, this is so Is sad. she home now? What? Oh, you mean Marge. Marge, Oh, well, she, uh, she hasn't uh, been coming home for dinner lately. Uh, she gets in late and we don't see much of her. Perhaps I could wait. Well, <laughs> I don't know how long you'd have to wait. My best friend, to think that she would She be is your best friend. 
Perhaps you can help me out then, Mrs. Ace. Perhaps you can convince her that I want her for this picture. She will listen to you, perhaps. Well, I'm afraid she won't, Mr. Lorenz. You see, well, there's there's been a sort of a mix-up here since this movie contest came to town. A mix-up? Well, it is a little mixed up now, but we hope to have it straightened out before long. As matters stand now, I'm afraid Jane couldn't talk to Marge on your behalf because, well, they've had a sort of falling out over this thing. Falling out? Yes, Jane got the idea that you meant her for the part, and then she found out you meant Marge. Well, you know how girls are. Oh, I see. I'm, I'm very sorry, Mrs. Ace. Oh, that's all right. I don't really care to go into pictures anyhow. That is as it should be. Of course, some girls are just crazy about it, and they go to dinner, oh, you know. Oh, Mr. Lorenz, why don't you uh, try getting Marge at her office during the day? I have tried all day, uh, after looking those tests over, I tried and tried again, but she was not there. Is she well? Oh, yes, yes, she's well, all right. She was there. She was? I think she's a little upset herself about, well, her boyfriend, you know. Oh, her... yes, Mr. Williams, he is quite young and so impetuous. Oh, he's a very fine fellow. Oh, of course, of course, but he is not for her. Oh, no, I don't know. She has such, uh, such charm. She has such uh, warmth. Uh, she has such... Such uh, an uh, appetite. Uh, what? Oh, don't pay I any... I said she has such an appetite. I do not understand. You see, she's just a little... Well, well, what do you mean, Mrs. Ace? She has such an appetite. Oh, we know all about it, Mr. Lorenz. About what? I do not understand. Oh, I suppose you didn't take her to dinner. Oh, yes, I... Sure, do. he took her to dinner. So what, Jane? Oh, That's some what... girls want to get into pictures that way. Oh, I'm afraid you have uh, misunderstood, Mrs. Ace. About going to dinner with you? Oh, no, we know all about it. Well, is that so terrible? Is it so terrible if I try to convince her over a dinner that... She has a place in pictures. It is quite the custom in Hollywood to have dinner with Lorenz. Sure, we understand. It, it takes politics to get in the pictures, Jane. Politics? Yes. Well, how does Mr. Lorenz know if I voted for Rosa? We can understand Mr. Lorenz's confusion. But he seeks Marge off tomorrow, and we learn some rather interesting developments concerning Marge's feud when next we meet the Easy Aces.